Iteration 1. Process level remediation is the concept of resolving a finding through changing how it is used or implemented. There might be technical challenges to simply patching or modifying the underlying systems of a process, so the remediation is done at the process level itself. Definition of process level remediation. Process level remediation refers to modifying how a process is executed or managed, rather than simply fixing the software, hardware, or system itself. This approach is often used when a simple patch or direct system upgrade isn't feasible or may not fully address the underlying risk. Why it's sometimes necessary. Even if an organization can identify a security vulnerability, it might be too costly, too complex, or too disruptive to fix at a system or code level. Instead, adjusting the procedure or workflow, i.e. the process by which people, software, or devices interact can address or mitigate the security risk without requiring fundamental changes to the system's architecture. Challenges to system level fixes. Technical limitations. Some legacy or proprietary systems might not easily support updates or patches. Operational constraints. Business operations might rely heavily on a particular system, making downtime extremely costly or detrimental. Safety or compliance requirements. Certain industries must maintain consistent processes to ensure safety or regulatory compliance. A full system overhaul may be too risky or subject to lengthy approvals. Outcome. By implementing changes at the process level, security teams can still remediate vulnerabilities in a practical, often faster way. This might involve additional steps, alternative workflows, or best practice guidelines that reduce exposure to threats. Iteration 2. Following the example of passwords and security, if a process is done through a non-secure channel, it can be migrated to use an encrypted channel of similar functionality. A simple example is using SSH whenever Telnet is being implemented. Telnet is sometimes used when SSH is not supported, so an alternative solution will be required. Migration to encrypted channels. Moving from a non-secure method of data transmission to one that is encrypted, enhancing security. Explanation. When a process relies on an insecure channel, the remediation strategy involves replacing it with a secure, encrypted channel while retaining the original process's functionality. Example, SSH versus Telnet. SSH as a secure alternative, SSH, secure shell, is cited as the secure alternative to Telnet. SSH encrypts data, making it much harder for attackers to intercept or manipulate communications. Telnet limitations. Telnet, in contrast, transmits data in plain text, which poses security risks. Fallback scenario, even though SSH is preferred, there are situations where SSH might not be supported, leading to the continued use of Telnet. This emphasizes the need for flexibility and alternative solutions. Implications for remediation. Technical adaptability. The need to switch channels reflects the broader principle of adapting processes to meet security requirements without disrupting functionality. Alternative solutions. When the ideal secure channel, SSH, is not available, organizations must seek out other methods or workarounds to ensure security remains robust. Iteration 3. Concept of randomized password rotation. Definition. Randomized password rotation is a process where passwords are automatically and periodically changed using random values. Purpose. This method reduces the window of opportunity for attackers by ensuring that even if a password is compromised, it becomes useless after a short time. Process level remediation aspect. Application as a remediation strategy. Instead of waiting for a system update or patch to fix a vulnerability, implementing randomized password rotation is a proactive process level approach. Operational benefits. This strategy helps mitigate risks associated with static or predictable passwords by continuously refreshing them, thereby enhancing overall security posture. Implementation considerations. Automation. Typically, such a rotation is automated through scripts or security tools, ensuring that the password changes occur at regular intervals without manual intervention. Integration with existing processes. It must be integrated carefully with existing authentication systems to avoid disruptions. Compliance and audit. Regular updates of credentials also support compliance with security policies and audit requirements.